What is going on, pros and average shows? Redbeard here with another uh, another video for you. Um, it will be a little bit of a long one. I'm going to rant a little bit. A um, couple of updates, a uh, couple things I saw online, um, some deals going on that I saw that you guys should check out. Um, so yeah, uh, and a little bit about um, my YouTube page and a little bit about me, so you guys can understand about where I come from and and uh, what I do. Um, but first, okay, so first I want to talk about some of the deals I've been seeing. Uh, Lacrosse.com is having a huge deal. Things like 20% off uh, any any um, any. Over a hundred dollar purchase, every over every fifty dollar purchase. I think it's a hundred dollar purchase. So go check that out. That's pretty cool. Um, another thing is um, box across starts in four days. Super pumped. Really, really pumped about that. Excuse my squeaky chair. Um, blah 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 blah. Uh, yeah. Um, of course, I got my diesel in my hand as always. I restrung my stick and. Threw some more SIs in it. I mean, it was too bagging out way too much, and I was having a throw with my buddy yesterday with it. And uh, he really loves a lot of whips, so he loved the stick. But if I'm gonna use this, and in like a game, like for real, um, and I'm gonna want to use it just because it's an old stick, and you don't see these anymore, uh, especially for uh, an older player like me. Um, a lot of, you know, the adult leagues I, I play in. Um, you know, I brought this to one, and you know, the guy, the guy that I saw that was there, older guy. Um, it's like, oh my god, I, I used to see these heads all the time, the, the traditional triangle. Um, it's it's refreshing to see a younger guy like you have one in and using it, yada, yada, yada. And uh, I think my generation um, is really the only ones that, that have these heads anymore. I know I know that the high school that I coach at, um, they have them like in stock for like goalies to use. But now they're not even in there because they're getting, you know... The, the cheaper end, like STX ones, um, and stuff like that, uh, but that are actually even worse than that because the plastic's so much cheaper. Um, but uh, that's that, and uh, I think it came out awesome. I want to check that, that channel out again. Um, just pulled it super tight. Nice. It almost kind of reminds me of uh, Brett Queener's pocket. He uses a super low 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 bag and anybody that lives in the um in new jersey uh world good sports is having um a good sports league uh box lacrosse league orange turf wet lines which looks awesome um come down check it out we're playing this sunday i'll find out a time and i'll put up another video if you guys are in the area um got a leading into that uh a while back uh, i put a video about box league starting and um throwing a string contact to me, where are you playing, you know, how much is it, yada, 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 so I threw them the information, and um, on his message Monday, man, that, that is hard to say, message Monday, I'm just going to call it M squared, think about it, um, so he uh, he brought up how he's playing in New York, and um, which is awesome, I think that's sick that he's playing on that uh, that old uh, roller hockey rink with the, ca the, the cage, because that's how I started playing road hockey. It was outside with the cage sides, and it just looked super gritty and grimy, and just, and just say, not saying that they are gritty and grimy. It's just like that really raw lacrosse uh, talent that's going to come out and play because they're going to want to play to win. Because um, you know, you just see those guys that are coming out, and it's getting cold. I mean, everyone out there is wearing shorts and or like you know the the, the uh, Under Armour leggings, and it's it's cold, and you know. You know, all those guys are coming out to play. They're not just there just for, you know, shits and giggles. They, they really want to be out there because they love the sport. But um, he threw in, uh, at the end of his message Monday, uh, I think it's four, um, that I have my league starting, and uh, him and Chris might come down to Jersey to uh, shoot around or anything. So this is a huge invite to them. Um, I would love for you guys to uh, to come down. And uh, Chris, you know, maybe if you want to take a PFC at my uh, at my diesel, I'd... I'd uh, be more than happy to uh, let you use it that day. That'd be awesome. Um, it'd be, it'd be, you know, a great honor for you guys to come down and and uh, shoot on me, shoot around, uh, or even even join the league. That'd be that'd be fantastic. Uh, I follow you guys a lot, and uh, I think what you're doing is awesome. Uh, and another thing that he said about uh, 
the game lacrosse and how much he loves it. And um, he just, he really went on. If, if you haven't seen it, I really don't want to give it away because he does such a great job about explaining it. Um, his passion for the game and, and why he loves it. Um, it's, it's really great. So you really got, you guys really got to check it out. Uh, Message Monday, uh, number four, um, throwing a string. Check, check, uh, seriously check them out. Um, it's, it's, it's really enlightening because uh, his passion for the game is, is like my passion. I really love this sport. I'm addicted to it. Um, I have finals right now. And any chance I get, I'm going out in the back and I'm throwing around or doing something because it's so hard to uh, to sit next to all these sticks. I have at least eight sticks, two pairs of gloves, three helmets, you know, right next to me, just itching to be used. And I, I have to go outside and take a break from my papers. Um, it's just a really it, lacrosse is a huge outlet to me when uh, you know some people might be working out or listening to music, but um, lacrosse is that outlet for me whenever I'm stressed or tired or just need to clear my head a um, couple other things uh, that I want to want to um, update on is um, I don't know if everyone anyone knows this but you know everything that I put up on here I'm not getting paid uh, by any means uh, by any means um, I'm doing this just for the pure love of the sport I think uh, if I had, if I had all these YouTube channels, if I had Throwing a String, if I had East Coast Dies, if I had Mad Lax, if I had, you know, all these huge influential guys, and and you know, we're all young guys, we're not, you know, older dudes, and and I I feel like just just all of us coming together and being able to, you know, there's so many more people on there that that are putting up videos about, you know, tutorials on how to do your koi strings. I know East Coast Dies does all that stuff so you can learn and teach yourself how to string. When I taught myself, I literally took the, the Warrior and STX mesh kits and I copied whatever was in there. And I learned, you know, from the past uh, maybe six months that I've been watching these guys on, online, how to improve my game and how to improve my stick and how, how customizable and how personal your stick can be to you. I mean, I know every single one of my sticks is, is mine and original to myself. And uh, I know how they throw. And when someone asks me to to, um, to like string a stick for them, I have to ask them what type of position they play, you know, what type of um, you know pocket they want. Do they want straights? Do they want V's? Do, do they want U's? Do you want you know an SI sidewall? Do you just want you know you know a really defined sharp sharp channel, or do you want like a nice you know fat one like that? Um, there's just so many things that go into it. And I never really thought about it um, until you know I really started getting into making these videos. This sport is 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 so it can be so personal, or it can be so I don't want to say uh, impersonal, but it could be everything. Everything that you wear can be customized. Everything that you put into your gear can be customized. Um, you know, and I think I think seeing that. And being a part of that lacrosse community, you can look at a person and be, hey, you know, this guy's a Dodger. Even just by looking at his stick or even looking at his type of a gear that he has or in his elbow pads. If he's got the nubs on his elbows, he might be a defenseman. Or maybe he's a Fogo because he doesn't need all that padding. He wants that more mobility. And if you see a guy with like the full body armor going down his arms, you know, those huge warrior pads. I don't even know what they're called. Um, the elbows that go from, you know, mid, mid, uh, mid bicep to uh, mid forearm. And you know, then you got the big shoulder pads like the uh, like the cells or something. You know, you know that they're probably attackmen. You know, all the gear is flexible, but it gives them a lot of protection. Um, again, uh, going with the helmets, you could do the helmet tilt. You know, a lot of guys are using that as like a status to uh, how dirty they are, or how good they are. Um, but you know, at the same time, guys can get cocky and they could just put it, you know, a full tilt on the thing and. You know, I'll show you if you guys if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Um, especially on on the CPXRs and and the C Pros, it's like that tilt. The tilt is literally how far down the brim comes. I know from the side you could already see how far the brim comes down, but I see guys that are coming in like this, and it's just like it looks sick. It looks cool. You know, I don't really understand it too much. I want to wear my helmet, you know, where I can see the most. But you know, that's that's another social status within the game of lacrosse. 
and it's almost like a subculture and you know lacrosse is a subculture within itself if you meet a lacrosse player you know right away that you guys are on the same level and you guys are you know you have this type of a brotherhood or this bond that you know what you guys go through during practice and and it's it's super super refreshing watching thrones video and you know understanding that you know I'm not the only person <laughs> only person in this world that that loves this sport and that is so passionate about it that he has to be around it 24/7 just like I do it's so refreshing to see uh, these younger kids coming up and you know catching on to to uh, what you can and what is possible in the sport and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen in the next uh, five to ten years I really cannot wait it's it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing there's just so much stuff that you can think about. Okay, just just at a perspective. Oh, that's a guitar I don't play. Um, use it as a helmet rack. Okay, this is mid 1980s to early 1990s, 2012. Okay, that's that's 30 years. Oh, 19. Well. 20 years, about 25 years apart. What are they going to come out with in the next 25 years? You know what I mean? What's what's going to be out there that we've never seen before? And another thing that I've been kind of getting a rash of shit about um, is my old heads, like my diesel. You know what I mean? Um, not getting too much crap for for my my uh, torque. But, I mean, it is the Torque 1. It's the first one that came out. You can kind of see the difference between it. But they really haven't changed the model, though, either. Um, you know, my 10K and my Vapor as well. Like, I'm just getting shit for it because they're old heads. And these are coming from younger kids. And I, I think the biggest thing that they need to understand is where the sport came from. If you really want to go back into the, the, the beginning of the sport, I'll show you something cool. This is, like, my pride and joy. And actually, I haven't taken it down from the wall since I got it. Um... I think I got this as a Christmas present two years ago, and I've been dying for one ever since. And I think I'm gonna try to get this thing, uh, get this thing. Oh my God, I can't even think of the word. <sighs> Refurbished, or uh, you know, because the, the 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 cowhide and the leather is just snapped in here. This is totally dry rotted, but I want I want a functioning you know stick. I really want to get my dream right now is to get a stick from Jacques. He, he's uh, w one of the only traditional st uh, stick makers in Canada, or even in the world right now, that, that are still making sticks from the time that their limbs, and the time that they're, they're you know, uh, trees to the, to the point of, you know, they come out totally done and ready to use. Um, he does some great, great work, and his, his waiting list right now is, is like a year and a half, two years. Because he does such great work, and I really, really, really would love to get a stick from him. I want to get this redone, but I want to get a, I want to get a box stick. That's my next one, so I, so I could actually use it and and pass it down to to my kids. I, I really wish, I really hope and pray that my my kids play lacrosse, because it's it's such a great sport, and it just there's just so much history behind it that I don't think a lot of younger kids know about, and I really think they should. Um, so to give you another perspective, we'll go f to from this to to uh, to this. I mean, going from leather and cowhide to you know plastic titanium shafts, you know com you know composite shafts, um, you know nylons, heavy nylons, you know different types of mesh, wax meshes, wax meshes. Oh, mesh is even a word. Let me know. Um, you know, just different styles to. To like something like this that you know you know you don't see like look how big that head is to compare it to that I mean there's so many different styles and that's why you know I really pride myself in having you know a wood shaft because you know back in the day that's what they used and and these I, I kind of I, I really feel like these younger kids coming up really need to understand that and they really need to understand the the whole tradition behind you know the game of lacrosse and and really read up on it that's it for now guys hope to see you out there.